hi everyone welcome back in the laravel video tutorial and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use the session in laravel so in the example we will submit the form and with the form we will store the uh, form data into the session and then we will get the data and we will use the flash session and what is the flash session flash session is when data is stored for a uh, one request only or you can say that uh, up to the first refresh of the page all right so now let's get start so first of all this is my route file uh, by default you are uh, watching this uh, when i just remove the submit you are watching this file and here i have uh, just a little form here one field and one submit button and the form tag and in the second uh, router is the post and in this post method we will got this show function here through this and load the welcome.php all right so now let's get start with for the session so for first of all i need to put here uh, the action so for the action just put the path name so for that i have to use the url to and in the to i have to pass the sorry i have to pass the url which is the submit and this one you are this url is i am going to pass here all right and after that uh, okay i have to use like this okay so let's check the path here first of all unexpected this one why because i didn't put here brackets here all right now that's fine so if you want to check the url you can check here uh, the url is correct local host and the submit all right after that we will uh, get the request here so first of all i am going to comment this and uh, just show the uh, request then what we are getting in the request so dollar request and if you don't know how why we are using the request and all these things you can watch our previous tutorial where which is made for specially for uh, the form submission data okay so and here i'm going to write the uh, input method and in the input method I'm going to write the name why name because I am passing the name parameter here okay so if you remove this then it's okay then the no issue okay it will print the old request so just I'm going to pass here Dylan and you can see that we got the array here all right and for that if you want to get the name then you can write here the name and then refresh the page and you can see that we got the delay here. And now, how you, how can I store this into the session? For store this in the session, I'm going to copy this request and just write a dollar request. Session is the method, and in the session, I have to use the get. Sorry, I have to use the put method. Put method will put put it and the name. So let's say I'm going to use the user and the second parameter is my request one all right so with that data the data will going to uh, the data will uh, store in the session and now how can i get this data for the get data i have to use the get method and in the get method uh, i have to pass the parameter uh, session key and this is my session key all right so now let's check here I got the Dylan again here. Why? Because if I'm going to comment this, you are not able to see this Dylan here. All right? Because it's coming from the session. So how can I pass this session to my view for now? So for that, uh, let's say copy this one and use the with method. And in the with method, I'm I need to pass the first parameter as the first parameter is the uh, I can say that variable that we will access on the view and the second one is the whole URL okay so now here I am going to use uh, the data will be shown where data will be shown here with the view method and data will be shown here as a dollar data okay just refresh this and you can see that we got the Dylan here and if I put the request again let's say sam then you can see the sam is here 
and this sam is printed by the this one so i can comment it also all right so for now uh, if i am going to comment this one also then you will see that we are going to access the sam again why because i i just made it in the session and if i put the anil here then it will showing still showing the sam why because i uh, i am not going to override the name is it's commented so you can see that the, it's the same here so now just use with the flush session and see the result here so if i am going to use the flush then see here let's say i am going to put here as the anil then you can see that we got the anil here and if i just comment this one then let's see what going on what's in the one request it's here and in the next request it's gone from here why because flush it will take the data only for once when we are just refresh the data once more then data will be finished so this is all about the uh, basic the session how we can use in the laravel and uh, how we can uh, get the session from the form also so you can watch this and you can pass the array here also so if you don't want to want to pass the key here you can pass directly array here so thanks for watching this video and if you have still any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel like this video thanks guys thanks for watching again